Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today, we're doing Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and this is the 100th episode. So this is Season 5, Episode 12 called The Real Deal. So to start off with, um, basically, the, um, after the explosion, all of uh, the monoliths exploded and so Fitz sent a drone down to go check it out and we see Lash and a nun and some other creepy stuff and the drone then stops working as a uh, building as a beam falls on it so uh, Fitz goes over the footage and basically the three monoliths exploded and split a hole into space time and it's not good obviously <laughs> So we start off with uh, Simmons uh, checks in on Yo-Yo and then uh, Matt goes in to talk to her and then Deke and Daisy talk um, are talking about birthdays and stuff. I don't know why they went into birthdays but uh, because he found an orange air freshener and then he wanted to spray it in his mouth which was which is okay. <laughs> And so basically he's, he did that, um, then he spit it out of course, and then he talks about on his birthday that his mom always gave him a orange for his birthday and it was so hard for him to come by. And then he asked Daisy what um, her favorite birthday memory was and you know she was an orphanage and so she didn't really have any. And so they're talking and all of a sudden a creep pops up and uh, they fight it, then Daisy um, shoots it, and it just like dissipates or evaporates. And then we cut to where Fitz says um, that the rip is basically like a fear dimension. And basically, all the fears are coming true. Uh, Daisy hates nuns, Deke hates the outdoors with worms and trees and branches and all that type of stuff, which is okay. And then they saw Lash in the footage and just a bunch of other crazy stuff. And so uh, Fitz uh, wants to use Gravitonium, which is in Deke's belt, to uh, sew up the dimension or to um, isolate and make it stop. And then uh, Coulson vol volunteers because technically it's like a sacrifice type thing because you got to get close enough to the rip to. Um, uh, load the uh, device to fix it. Then Daisy literally fusses him out when Colson volunteers and then uh, he passes out. And then I, here's the thing, they should they should have added something in the way where he wakes back up or something. Anyway, so then Colson uh, gives Liz to Deke to uh, for him to get stuff outside and that's been a lot of pressure also with this that never really been outside before and so um then we cut to where um simmons gets the bad news about colson and it turns out colson is dying as a fire alarm sorry about this uh when there's a fire that fire alarm goes off so um and the town the entire town is hearing this thing so anyway so anyway, uh, Simpson, um, Simmons gets the bad news that Coulson is dying, and he's known since Ghost Rider took over his body, and basically that over um, written or overwrote his um, the HG twenty three the 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 alien compound that was on his body made him repair himself. Basically, it made that non void, and it's been killing him ever since. And it's dead skin that can't be undone. And basically, Ghost Rider burned through it, and then the team is not happy about it because May calls them out on it. Daisy flips out and she storms off. And then Colson goes after her and talks to her, and he wants her to lead Shield. All the alarms. I'm still powering through this. Okay. And so she breaks down, and they have like a nice touching moment. And then Simmons. Tries to, tries to kill Yo-Yo, but turns out it's an LMD slash fear thing, so that's another thing. So Matt comes in and shoots her, and then it evaporates. And then, uh, then Deke gets supplies, 
and Slash overwhelmed because he sees helicopters, military people, but he powers through. And then we cut to where Hale is asking an officer questions about uh, Deke and about Daisy and about all this other stuff. And then Coulson talks to May. Then uh, Fitz gives device to Coulson. And then Coulson tells Fitz to do something. I, and Fitz says he will. And then uh, they have a feed set up and the feed goes out when Coulson goes down to the basement where the rip is. And then he runs into Mike Peterson, which is um, not really there, and basically says that he's on the table under code blue, so basically he's dying. And so his synapses are creating this uh, reality. So every time he's trying to come to terms with what's happening, something in his brain kicks on to some other adventure or something. And and then uh, it says basically everything's in his head. And and then we have a Quinjet comes through after Deke makes a phone call. So um, the real Max, the real Mike Peterson comes in with a lot of Shield people. And then we cut to where Coulson sees through. Mike Peterson, and then the real Mike helps out, then Lash comes out, then uh, the Roaches, and then they, they all evaporate after they shoot him, then Coulson releases the device, then they see Hive, and then they shoot that person, and that person, then Hive disappears, and so the device works, and then we cut to where Hale uh, says to pack it up, then Deke is literally being a crazy ass. So basically Fizz is saying to Colson, like, you did you did good today. And then Dee says, thank you so much. It was so hard doing all this stuff. <laughs> and he just goes on a whole tangent about him going through town and stuff. It's just so insane. <laughs> and uh, basically they're gearing up for something. And that is Fitzsimmons' wedding, which is so beautiful. And, um, basically, they go through the rings, and I actually deep picked out the rings. He went to the thrift store, so the wedding dress and all this stuff. And then, um, Mike and Deke talk. It's like, how do you know the bride and groom? He says, I know both of them. Like, when he said bride side or groom side. Then, um, Deke says, like, he picked out the wedding rings. And he said it was, like, his mother's. And he had to pick out a small ring for her. This is uh, girl heads, <laughs> and then um, basically says, um, and then Mike says, like, are you? Um, how do you know the bride and groom? Says I don't really know them, but turns out he does know them because the lady, General Hale's assistant, read um, ran his genetic markers and it came back with two people, and that's Fitzsimmons. So Deke is their kid. And that's the end of the episode. Oh. My. God. What an amazing episode. I will give this a A+. Plus. It was great seeing a bunch of um, Mike Pearson coming back. Along with Hive. And they mentioned Space Time. And all this other stuff. And the you get a build up of everyone from all the seasons to come in. And have all their S.H.I.E.L.D. agents come in. So. And the wedding was beautifully done. I really enjoyed that. And it was a lot of emotion. It was a lot of ups and downs. But I freaking loved this episode. It was so good. And I cannot wait to see what's going to happen next. And so we know that the Simmons kid is Deke. So that's a big actual shocker. But some people have been pointing that out um, before that. But still, still shocked to me. And it's so exciting, to, you know, for all that. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, and tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree or disagree? And if you have any other suggestions, uh, please let me know down below where there's music, TV shows, or movies. Just let me know. And I will be covering the rest of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, episodes from earlier seasons. I have them done. I just got to record them. And so behind on so much stuff. It's crazy cuckoo pants. Anyway, 
I just subscribe, so just like on the subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next video, and I tried this all one take, and I don't care the fire alarms went off, and you hear sirens and stuff, sorry, anyway, I'll see y'all later, I want y'all have an awesome day, night, evening, whenever you watch this, have an awesome one, bye everybody.